Hi guys. Well, at the moment, it is a spectacularly gorgeous Monday morning here in the collapse of global industrial civilization on this beautiful, we are now at Monday morning, September 13th, 2021. And uh, so we're going to check in with our friends at the United Nations today. We have another dire report. You know, the word dire is just automatically associated with UN reports now. It is the go-to adjective, dire. Uh, so what is on the latest dire report from the United Nations looking out to save the planet? All right, right here on the mainstream media. In case you're unaware of this, let the United Nations explain it to you. UN chief says world is at a pivotal moment and must avert crises. All right, we got all kinds of crises to avert at this pivotal moment. Yes, <clears throat> UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres issued a dire warning, a dire warning that the world is moving in the wrong direction and faces a pivotal moment where a continuing business as usual could lead us to a breakdown of global order and a future of perpetual crisis changing course could signal a breakthrough to a greener and safer future, he said. Now, now of course, guys, I realize that this probably belongs in my Saturday Hopium Roundup rant, but uh, I'm going to give it its own rant. You know, I, I, had, I finally just have to admit, guys, I don't get entirely what the UN is about. I... I don't know if Orwell ever really, I guess the Ministry of Truth was a little bit uh, patterned on the UN uh, where they, they put these little uh, puppets up there uh, to spout out uh, all of these obvious truths about the planet knowing damn well that all of these, what do they call them, policy makers, policy makers, uh, you know, that actually make up the United Nations are the ones that got us into the position of perpetual crisis that we are in. It is the members of the UN, uh, the quote, global leaders, who got us into this mess, and there is no way that these global leaders are going to do a damn thing to, to get us out of it. So, I, I, I mean, what exactly is their end game by issuing this these dire reports after dire reports after dire reports? I understand, guys, I'm not that stupid that a lot of it has to do with this BS transition to a, you know, to the new Green Deal, and it's just going to be another way for the planet eaters to, um, to make a bunch of money. I understand that that is a big part of it, but there's something else going on here. Uh, that I'm just not figuring out. Would somebody please explain it to me? Sam, this is what is going on at the UN. So, uh, but this is the way the mainstream media, you know, who is the mouthpiece for the United Nations is spinning it. The, uh, you know, the no shit Sherlock a uh, dire warning after dire warning after dire warning uh, with absolutely zero chance that uh, anybody at the United Nations is going to listen to one word 
from their own, quote, what is he called, the Secretary General? All right, otherwise known as the UN Chief. <clears throat> the UN Chief said the world's nations and people must reverse today's dangerous trends and choose, quote, the breakthrough scenario, the break on through to the other side scenario. <clears throat> the world is under, quote, enormous stress on almost every front, he said, and the corona panic was a wake-up call demonstrating the failure of nations to come together and take joint decisions to help all people in the face of a global life-threatening emergency. Yes, the corona panic uh, being the wake-up call to the state of perpetual crisis we are living in. <clears throat> Guterres also said this, quote, paralysis extends far beyond the corona panic. Ha. Uh, you never would know that by the by the daily news that the, the paralysis our planet in is in extends far beyond the corona panic. Yes, <clears throat> to the failures to tackle the climate crisis and quote our suicidal war on nature and the collapse of biodiversity. <clears throat> close quote, the quote, unchecked inequality, close quote, undermining the cohesion of societies and technological advances, quote, without guardrails to protect us from its unforeseen consequences. Yes, I have the camera inside the tiny house, and I'm still thinking we're getting wind on the camera. There's the, uh... All right. Is that finally going to block us? <clears throat> in other signs, in other signs, if those weren't enough signs, in other signs of a more chaotic and insecure world, he pointed to rising poverty, hunger, and gender inequality after three decades of decline, the extreme risk to human life and the planet from nuclear war and a climate breakdown and the inequality, discrimination, and injustice bringing people into the streets to protest, quote, while conspiracy theories and lies fuel deep divisions within society, close quote. Man, this man has a lot on his mind today. In a horizon scanning report, there you go, a horizon scanning report. I have, I have never heard the term horizon scanning in a horizon scanning report presented to the UN General Assembly and at a press conference, Guterres said his vision for the quote breakthrough scenario to a greener and safer world is driven by quote the principle of working together, recognizing that we are bound to each other and that no community or country however powerful, can solve its challenges alone. Close quote. This will get the New World Order conspiracy wackos panties in a major wide. With that, you better believe that uh, sentence is going to be showing up on Alex Jones. So what is the latest report? Our Common Agenda is the name of the latest dire UN warning. Our common agenda is a response to last year's declaration by world leaders 
on the 75th anniversary of the United Nations and the, re and the request from the Assembly's 193 member nations for the UN chief to make recommendations to address the challenges for global governance. Ta -da! The challenges for global governance. Okay, here are some challenges for the New World Order. <clears throat> In today's world, Guterres said, quote, global decision making is fixed on immediate gain, ignoring the long-term long -term consequences of decisions or indecision. Close quote. He said, I, I, I love this, the UN, <laughs> the UN, uh, the UN Secretary General himself, this might be my favorite quote, he said multilateral institutions, the number one on the planet being the United Nations, have proven to be, quote, too weak and fragmented for today's global challenges and risks. Yes. What's needed, Guterres said, is not new multilateral bureaucracies, but more effective multilateral institutions, <laughs> including a United Nations 2.0. Yes, more relevant to the 21st century. Quote, and we need multilateralism with teeth. There you go. Multilateral multilateralism with teeth. And we're going to see what that looks like. I guarantee you we're going to see some multilateralism with teeth on the uh, on the horizon here. In the report outlining his vision, quote, to fix the world, yes, this is the UN chief's vision to fix the world, Guterres said immediate action is needed to protect our planet's, quote, most precious assets from the oceans to outer space to ensure it is livable. Yes, we need to ensure that outer space is livable because the ocean sure as hell ain't. So we're now going to make outer space livable. Yes, and the new vision of the United Nations, how to make outer space livable. Mm -hmm. And to deliver on the aspirations of people everywhere for peace and good health. He called on an immediate global vaccination plan, yes, implemented by an emergency task force, saying, quote, investing $50 billion in vaccinations now could add an estimated $9 trillion to the global economy in the next four years, close quote. So guys, here we get to the elemental misunderstanding. Adding $9 trillion to the global economy will do more to destroy the precious resources from the oceans to outer space than anything else they could come up with. It is the multi-trillion dollar global economy that is the biggest threat to the planet. So, apparently, uh, Mr. Gutierrez does not understand this. Yes, this dire report proposes that a global summit for the future, a global summit for the future take place in 2023 
that would not only look at all these issues, but go beyond traditional security threats, quote, to strengthen global governments of digital technology and outer space and to manage future risks and crises, close quote. Yes, uh, a global summit for the future. Let's have that in two years to uh, save the planet. It would also consider a new agenda for peace. This is really starting to sound Orwellian right about now. A new agenda for peace, including measures to reduce strategic risks from nuclear weapons, cyber warfare, and lethal autonomous weapons, which Guterres called one of humanity's most destabilizing inventions. Uh, I noticed that uh, tribes member Tom Insalata sent me a article about this very subject uh, about cyber war, lethal autonomous weapons. I might come back with that in a future round. The Secretary General said a new United Nations Futures Lab. There you go. A United Nations Futures Lab will publish regular reports, quote, on mega trends and risks. Yes. He said the corona panic also exposed deficiencies in the global financial system, which of course, you know, they need to fix those deficiencies because it is the global financial systems that is behind the global economy bringing down the planet. <clears throat> to tackle these weaknesses and integrate the global financial system with other global priorities, Guterres proposed holding summits every two years of the 20 leading economies in the G20, the UN's Economic and Social Council, the heads of the international financial institutions, including the IMF and the World Bank, and of course the UN Secretary General will be, I guess, somehow overseeing these meetings of these things. If you had to, uh, I'm, I'm trying to think of a bigger collection of threats against this planet. You take the UN, then you invite the G20 and the heads of the IMF and the World Bank in a giant think tank on how we are going to save this planet by turbocharging the global industrial economy. <clears throat> this is the Breakthrough Initiative. I think it's called the Breakdown Initiative. Okay, but this man is not finished yet. He is a busy man. Guterres also called for the correction of what he called, quote, a major blind spot and how we measure progress and prosperity, close quote, saying the gross domestic product fails to account for, quote, the incalculable social and environmental damage that may be caused by the pursuit of profit, close quote. This is in the same conversation where he said, we need to spend $50 billion on vaccines to pump $9 trillion more dollars into the global economy. 
then he turns around and points out that about the incalculable social and environmental damage that may be may be caused by the pursuit of profit yes my report calls for new metrics that value the life and well-being of the many over the short-term profit of the few close quote uh, <laughs> oh Jesus at, at, at some point guys you just need to uh, I mean this is beyond Orwell that this is right here in the mainstream media uh, I guess this is 1985 we, I think he should have titled uh, this new dire warning 1985 okay they haven't stopped there <clears throat> the report <coughs> damn I'm choking up here I gotta get the leaves out of my water <clears throat> the report also calls for a new emergency platform that would be triggered automatically in large-scale crises comprising governments, the UN system, international financial institutions, civil society, the private sector, and others, he said. Well, I bet that little emergency platform is going to be dinging about 365 days a year as we go into the future, yes. The emergency platform. Okay. Do you think he's got to the bottom of his list now? No. It, he, he keeps going. <clears throat> Guterres also proposed repurposing the UN Trusteeship Council whose work is largely completed, quote, to create an intergovernmental body for intergenerational issues. Yes, that would be a platform to consider the interest of the entire human family, present and future. Yes, as part of a new focus on the world's young people and future generations, Guterres said he intends to appoint a special envoy for future generations. Can we say Greta Thunberg? I heard it's Thunberg, not Thunberg. Greta Thunberg, I think, should definitely be the special envoy for future generations to ensure that the interest of those people born in the 21st century and establish a new United Nations Youth Office. I think Adolf Hitler uh, established something akin to that back in the 1940s, if my history is correct uh, saying much of the world's unease is rooted in poverty and growing inequality Guterres noted that the 10 richest men on this planet saw their combined wealth increase by half a trillion dollars since the corona panic began while 55% of the world's population, or around 4 billion people, quote, are one step away from destitution with no social protection whatsoever, close quote. To address the threats to social stability, the UN chief recommends a series of measures, quote, to provide universal health coverage, education, housing, decent work, and income protection for everyone 
everywhere. Guterres proposed holding a world social summit in 2025 on global efforts to address these issues and repair our social fabric. The Secretary General also proposed global action to tackle disinformation. Yes, maybe he could start uh, with his own press conference. The Secretary General also proposed global action to tackle disinformation and conspiracy theories and promote facts, science, and integrity in public discourse. Quote, we must make lying wrong again. We must make lying wrong again. Uh, where Mr. Guterres uh, promoting the single biggest lie on the planet that we can have infinite growth on a on a finite planet, which of course is the United Nations being the single biggest promoter of the single biggest lie on the planet that we can uh, have infinite growth on a finite planet and that it is in fact infinite growth that will save the planet. And uh, then, of course, not to mention the major part of that lie being the whole pack of lies known as the bright green lies that the, the UN has appointed itself. Uh, I would like to know how much money the world's 10 richest men have already made off of the... Uh, Green New Deal since the beginning of the Corona panic. But that's another rant from another time. As I see, the little dog is getting hot. And, uh, what are we doing today, little dog? We're going to get out there and find uh, some way to <clears throat> integrate. We're going to go integrate something. I highly suggest you get out there and find something to integrate while you still can. Bye, guys. All right, little dog. You can get out of the sun now like that. We finished ranting. <laughs>